Okay, someone asked for a changing of the strings tutorial, and guess what? I have to do that. One of these strings has a little divot in it. That's usually how I know I'm gonna change them. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do. I'm just saying that's how I roll. So I have this little device here. I don't know what you call it. Unstringer device, clicks onto this. I have to do this quickly, because I got a lot to do. So I just make them really loose. Keep going, loosey goosey. All right, next. Boom. All right, all right. Do do do. Nice and loose. Next one. See where I'm going with this, right? So, I'm not. I've been doing this for 30 years, and uh, I'm way better at it than I used to be. But for some, I'm not. I saw this. Uh, this guy, what's the name of that shop in Melbourne, Florida? I can't remember. This guy's been doing it. He like works on guitars all the time. It's pro. Saw him handle the guitar and take care of this, man. I was like, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of envious. Like, yeah, man. He obviously cared about what he was doing and uh, just knows guitars inside and out. How to build them, how to play them. Anyhow. All right. So, thank God I don't have his 12 string. I can't even see the holes on the strings. We're gonna have to bring in some extra light. Anyway, here we go. All right, so now they're all, they're all super loose. Super loose. Now what I do is I untether them slowly. Okay, that's one. And two. Ow. Oh, be real careful. By the way, these, that'll poke you. More specifically, watch out for your eye. You heard me. Watch out for your eyes. Be careful, folks. I mean, I am going through this pretty fast. Not gonna lie, but this is the easy part too, right? Taking the strings off. But still, these things, the ends of the strings are danger or us. You also don't want them scratching your guitar, so be careful. My guitar, let's just say it has a lot of character. All right, here's the big, big E string. Here's the big E, it's giving me trouble. Oh, it does. Come on now. All right. Okie dokie, and done. Now, gathering my hands like that. Now, this has another little helper. Helps you take these out. What are they called? I don't know. But I'm very, very careful about where I place everything. These pegs. Peg, a great song by Steely Dan. Two. Three. And four. Five, six. Come on. Yep. And they all come out real nice. Boom. All right. Strings removed. I put this on my guitar stand and I wrap these and I go in the knit I'm kidding all right so I just fold them into a little knot and I'll take careful like I said really be careful I've been hurt blood yeah all right so now they're tied up ready for disposal second part what do I got here boom boom so I got my what is this? Gibson Super Polish, blah, blah, blah. This is the nice part. This is the fun part. Yeah, get your work out. Get your work out. Come on. All right. Now, again, I don't know. I, it's like with anything in life. I, I don't do anything right. I, I do it all however I do it. But, okay. So I spray... The spray on here, you're only supposed to do like one or two sprays. Yeah, okay. And I put it on the body of the guitar. I get under here. And like I said, my guitar is at this point in its life, it's got a lot of character. It's got some things that are just always gonna be there. Much like my face and me as well. So I'm spreading it evenly, whatever. I'm just spreading it on here. I want more. So I'm gonna get more. I love my guitar, I do. 
I also love being alive and myself, you know, like I, I'm not against me, but you know, I drank for 30 years. It made everything easier. I don't do that anymore because my body rejected alcohol. So as much as I do like being alive and myself, and now I take a buffer, a separate cloth that came with the, what did it come with? Oh, some Gibson package I got for beautification or whatever. You can get it on at Sweetwaters or Musician's Friend or your local local guitar instrument store or yeah I try not to use Amazon if I can help it but I do on occasion anyway so there all done just kidding now <clears throat> want to move on to the neck of the guitar mmm and get some more spray on here I do have time constraints today. Got a lot to do. So, but this is this is how I do it. I go in the back here. I'm not like, okay, now I'm cleaning the guitar. I mean, I want that. I want it to be beautiful. I want it to be protected. And I want the longevity to be, you know, part of my thought processes here. And it definitely is. I'm not, I'm not half passing it or anything. I'm, I'm actually getting in there and making sure it's all right. Yeah. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. I get a lot of dirt and nooks and crannies in this area and this area. And it gets, you know, I'm gonna spray it directly on because I'm a crazy, I'm a crazy. But it coats it and it protects it and it needs protection because I play guitar all the time. I don't change my strings that often, maybe three, four months. Like I said, I wait for the string. Hey. I wait for the string to get a divot in it, you know, indicating that it's gonna break on its own soon. Because I don't play in a manner where it's gonna break while I play. I'm very, I don't know why, I'm, I'm not really careful about it. I just, I just have a lot more finesse than when I started. So I'm, I don't usually break strings. I did a lot when I first started though, acoustic or electric. Very aggressive, very irreverent playing. So, all right, it feels good. Now for other, other, Curves. Hey yo. Rah. Nice. Doo -doo -doo. Is this the right way to do it? I don't know. Should you emulate this? Uh, you seem like a more thoughtful person than I am. Yeah, because you're human and you're not me. And I'm, I've just always been like this. I just... Precision is a big deal, you know, being precise, being careful. I'm the guy who was wearing a metal belt buckle or something. And I, you know, was, had my guitar hanging down. And this guy who knows better was like, because uh, I, was, I was in a guitar store checking out guitars or something. And he was like, could you take your belt off? And I was like, it just, it occurred to me only then how grave of an offense that really is. Because you know, you could nick the guitar. It's just, a, it's a sign of disrespect. And I'm just unaware of stuff like that a lot of the time. But I'm, I'll never be unaware of it again. I learned my lesson and then I, you know, as I'm talking to you now, that happened 20 years ago or something and I'm still very, very aware of it. No. I've abandoned all couth and I'm spraying directly on the guitar now. And this back doesn't get seen often, but this isn't really about visuals for me at all. It's really about coating, protection, longevity, and you know, just treating the guitar with the respect 
and the care that it deserves. What's that? Oh, I should be going slower? No, it won't really help. I mean, you can. You can make a day out of it or hours out of it and stuff. Ah, oh, so pretty. Hey, pretty. Yeah, all right, all right. I know, I know, I hear you. All right. All right, so... For those curious, this is a Gibson Hummingbird cutaway. It's a, uh, what? I don't know, that's it, all right. What else style? Hummingbird Pro, all right. I, I, was, I was right. A few times in my life that I am. All right, this looks nice, feels good. So this is, uh, no, this is the fun, easy part get to treat your guitar well and it doesn't really hurt you. What does that mean? You, you'll see. Get in here once again. Right in there. Looks fine. Just it's where the dust collects. Just gets a lot of abuse. The back of the neck. Okay. All right. Now some uh, there's some lotion you can put on the fretboard, I don't have any. And uh, I don't know if I've ever applied it to this particular guitar, so things have been going okay. Now these are done, and this is polished. I have this thing on here that a old student of mine made. He's about my age when he made this for me. I'm 52, I think he was, maybe he was 60, never mind. Anyway, he's super amazing. It says SG on here, and uh, this is how I hold my strap. And if I ever become famous famous, like for real, I will promote him. I should right now. I gotta get his name. What are like 10 people? That's not bad, probably 10 people watching this. Anyway, there we go. Now, ugh, here we go. So I'm putting this back on the stand. I'm gonna double check all my stuff. Okay, I got my pegs over here. And I don't need this. I won't need this again. So now it's time for the real work. Time is it. Damn. All right. So these I use Diodario Phosphor Brown, uh, Phosphor Bronze Light Gauge Strings. And I just like the sound. I don't need it to be thicker. And they come in this little package. I got a package of three because it's more economical. And I'm colorblind. And these are always uh, labeled with colors. Isn't that nice? But I can get by by checking the size. So the, it opens up like this, and you get three. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. These are thin, medium, thick. So I can deduce from there that I want to start here. And the silver, I can tell it's not a color. And then I can tell that's blue or purple or whatever they're trying to do. When I take these apart, now I'm being careful. It doesn't look like it, but I am. Gently put this over here, starting with the silver. Okay. Now, oop, I take my first peg. I put the fat end, you know, into the guitar. Then I take the little slot. See that? Yeah. I kind of slide it in there. Push, pull, okay, good. That's one, and now I actually, I, uh, let's see. So I have to keep this here so it doesn't get in my way. Let's see. Then I line it up with the first divot. Wait. All right. Okay. See these, uh, these big lights? I'm gonna really need them. It's not just to show me, it's, it's I need vision. I, have, I used to have 20-20 vision. I eat, drink a lot of carrot juice, but I am getting older and it's difficult. So here, I have it in the first divot. I'm wrapping it around the first peg. Hey. Okay. And I wrap it around like so, this is difficult for me. I get a few wraps in there, man. 
I'm not good at hip hop, but I can rap a string. And then I blindly, because I can't see, push it through here and get it over, I overlap it and success. That is awesome. So now I've got it on there, it's loose, and I manually start turning this to tighten it up. You can hear it, or you can feel it. I just hold on to the string. And yeah, all right, that's string number one, without incident. Or at least I think so. I push on the peg a little bit, bit to make sure it's secure. We got one peg, one string. And this is hanging out, be aware. Because, you know, again, serious, you could get hurt. Like I said, I can't see that well. Let's bring this over here. So this is a very professional setup. I'm joking. Nothing I do is very professional, except my work ethic, but that's not tangible. Anyway, I hope that light isn't bothering you, but I need it to see. So I've got one of these guys ready. All right, now let's get number two. And it's gonna be the same thing, but it's difficult. And it's gonna get thicker. So I push this in, all right? Line up the, the peg. And I pull a little bit to hear it catch. You heard that. So it's in now. And I repeat the process. And it's uh, now, yeah, I just, can we get you over here maybe? No, no? How about that? Yeah, that, now yeah, that's better, okay. It is actually. So now I'm navigating. I can see the hole, I think. Oh no, I can't, it's my imagination. All right. So, and I'm wrapping and it's uh, thicker, so I'm not gonna be able to wrap it as many times. And that's good. It's like three or four. Oh, now it's rebelling because it's stiff and it's thicker. So it's gonna do that. It has the power. Now, Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. I think I see the hole. Now I'm aiming. Oh, oh, can't let it all go. I'm holding it down with my fingernail, pushing it through. It's my fingernail. Overlap. Boom. Success. All right. Now I'm actually going to, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come on. Stop. Stop hiding. I know I said I was done with you, but I'm wrong. All right. Saving time. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up now. And I can feel, let's see, coming towards me. I can feel it tensing. Good, good, good. I've got my strap holder under here. These are in each other's divot, all right? Obviously, not in tune. I push on the pegs, not too hard, just to make sure everything's secure. Oop, ooh, and the peg's popping out. Just letting you know, I'm gonna push it back in. No harm, no foul, that's fine. Nature of the beast. All right. I don't want to get it too tense. I just, I've heard things and you don't need to. All right, so that's two. Now we enter the middle, middle strings, okay? Middle strings, here we go. All right, woo, damn, darn. Okay, now. Colorblind man has to figure this out. It's not that difficult. I want the thinner of the strings. Uh, I guess it's brown. I have no clue, but it's definitely thinner. So I'm going with this one. This is the thicker one. I set it over here. All right, now. Also be aware of your surroundings. By the way, I am very aware. I don't want to hit anything. I do love my guitar. Yeah, yeah you know I do. All right. So, repeat the process. Putting the string in, peg goes in, here click in a bit, carefully lower it to the floor, which is carpeted and soft, so nothing gets injured. And I put it through the little divot here, and I, okay, I got some light. I can see the hole definitively. Chef, why don't you get glasses? Yeah, I know, I, I know. It's coming. Still, I battle with carrot juice. And I'm losing the battle. All right, I see the hole. I'm putting it through. Is that an overlap? It is. And success. I'm still being very aware of these. These will poke your eyes and cause you so much pain and damage and regret and horror. Uh, so keep that in mind. 
Now, tightening it up a bit, looking at the peg, everything seems to be good. I push on them again, not hard, just gently, making sure they're snug. Here we go. Oh, okay, all right, good. Not tight. Now, next one. So we're halfway there. I'm moving at a steady clip. What's it been? 20 minutes. See that? 20 minutes already. Takes time. All right. I've got my fourth peg. Repeating the process. Put a thicker string. Lock her in. Now I start on the other side. Now we're over here. And I'm going all the way up here. What string is this? E, A. This is my... No. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. G, B. Yeah, this is my D string. The D string. So far we have the E, B, and G. And now I'm putting it on my D string. And it is even thicker. But you don't have to wrap it as many times. Um, I, I don't know. That's not that great. Of, it's not that great of a thing. Okay, I'm pushing it through. I'm getting my overlap. Do I get... Oh, am I running into trouble? I can't tell because I can't see. I'm hoping it went through properly. And success. And it can be a little forced. So I'm pushing on the string with my thumb and pulling with my left hand to get a little snug. And now I'm over here. Oh, that, that is what, I don't know, 35 years ago, I would have called a party foul, but it's not really a party. So now I'm tightening it, tightening it up. And it's, oh, peg came out a little bit, pushing it in. I hope this is informative. I hope it helps. Okay, so that's, that's good. D string is in. Two more. Two more. All right. So I go for the third rung. And these are wrapped nicely, so I just undo that. And so, yeah, and the string sizes are perfect. If you're not colorblind, this will be even easier. But for me, I know that this is brass. I can see that because there's no coloring on it. I'm going to set that over there because that's the last string. Now I've got the second to last string, which is the A string. A. All right. And I repeat the process. Now, somebody who's a professional will be watching this and be like, this guy's, this is horrific. So maybe I should relabel this. Uh, your common layman, semi-authority on guitar's approach to changing strings, because it works. And I make a living using it, and using the guitar for now. And yeah, this is how I change strings. So... Regardless of what anybody might say and how appalled they might be, which is possible or not, they might just be like, yeah, dude, that's how you change string. I'm not really sure. Because I don't really confer with mo uh, anybody. It's been a very solitary journey for myself. So anyway, wrapping it around, wrapping, wrapping, works for me, sounds good. Not yet, of course. And I push it through. It's easier to see things now, so that's great. The actual very difficult part for a nearsighted or a you know, whatever, is uh, over. Now i got to yank that in there, wrap it around, pull tight. Look at that, coming together right now in front of you. Okay, now I twist this away from me because we're on the other side. Listen for the A, look down at the peg. Oh, it's getting tighter. These guys are still coming at me. Look at that. All right, one more. One more. Okay. Here we go. Ugh. Don't have to worry about the color or the size. We're on the last one. So I push the string in there. Pull. Heard it click. Boom. And so it looks like I'm haphazarding. But I'm haphazarding? I just made up that word. Look at that, man. I made up a word, yo. Okay. So now... This is a little difficult. You're only gonna be able to wrap it around. I'm gonna do three times, cause I'm bold. I can't see the hole, I'm guesstimating. Uh, okay, I got it through. I got it through. So I'm gonna take this obnoxious light away from you guys. Sorry about that. Had to be done. How are we doing? Nope, it's still just as bad. All right, just I can't see as well. Fantastic, nothing accomplished. Now I pull on this. Tighten it up, and I'm pushing on the little bolt a little bit. Okay. All right, all right. Now, grab the little tuner, dude. 
Tuner dude. What's up, Tuner dude? And I'm pushing it away from me. I'm looking at the pegs. Shouldn't take long. And there we go. Boom. And really, that's it. Well, not quite. So, let me move you back over here. How you doing? Okay. Now I need a pick. I always have picks. I always have lots and lots of picks. What kind of picks do you use? I use ja I use Jazz 3 picks. That's what I use. Um, they don't sponsor me. I'm not sponsored by anybody, in fact. Hint, hint. Just kidding. All right. Um, so now it's completely out of tune. I have a tuner built into my guitar. I'm just going to turn it on. I know that's not right. I'm not even going to look. I can hear it. Ab you know, you can hear it resist. Like it loosens up and loses its tune. This is a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. So, I make sure the peg's still in good, right? Looking down, oh, there we go. Nope, a little bit further. All right, so that's very temporary, but it's in tune. You can do the rest by ear. Still scary, could pop out. Oh, 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 all right. He's already done, gone out of tune. Now back to A. Okay, so these are pretty good. Checking the peg. Oh, 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 oh. All right, cool. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, now we're on to the A, D, G, the F, oh, come on, oh, it's so tight, oh, no, no, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, uh, all right, G, oh, it sounds horrible, it should, ooh, the B, I didn't even tighten that at all, slacker, ah, ah. E, A, A, B, okay. That's the B, let's hit the E now. C, D, come on, and we're going for the E, oh my God, oh my God. And there we go. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, start with the E again. There's the A, D, G, B, and E again. Oh. People like to stretch them out, stuff like that. I just play and strum for a while. And yeah, it's gonna keep going on it too. But not, not for long. My guess is, because it's a Gibson, it doesn't. Just a roll. Okay, one last thing. One last thing. Come here, buddy. That's right. You've got to take care of these uh, little danger zone dudes. I'll show you what I'm going to do here. You probably already know what's coming, but let's be thorough. Longest video I've ever made for, yeah. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to clip it. I don't clip it too close. Why? I don't have any reasoning behind this. I, I mean, I know what I'm doing, but... I don't. This all is just working man's logic. That's exactly what it is. No one's ever taught me. So I've been using it and I've been doing this for a long, long time and nothing bad has ever happened. And my guitars all are fine. So I can say that I'm not giving you any, uh, this isn't bad advice at all. This is the way I do it. Now you can find other information on this and, you know, cross, you know, cross compare, Notes and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, here I go. 
I got some wire cutters here. Yeah. And mm, about, I don't know, a little bit further away. Clip. Beep. Got one down. And put that over there. Be very careful. Number two. Okay. Not so long that's going to hurt anybody, but it's still there. So you still want to be careful. Boom. Three. It's pretty simple. Ow. Got, yeah, ow. Ah. Two more. As they get thicker, they get a little bit more resistant, obviously. Boom. And one more. And done. Now I'm going to clean up, obviously, but not in front of you. So let's see how the how it sounds. Not great. <laughs> That's expected, though. One more time. I'm gonna have to tune it up a few more times, but it's good. Now it's bright, woo, bright. I don't like that, but I play a lot, so it's gonna dull out over the next uh, four or five days. If I play a lot, if I play like eight hours or nine hours in a day, it'll it'll reduce in a day or so, but I only average like four or five hours these days. Any, or less, or less. Um, but here's the thing. Yeah, so it'll dull out and then I'll like it. And that's why I don't change them too often. That's just me. I like a warmer sound and even though this sounds nice. And if I was gonna record an album, I'd, uh, I'd change the strings beforehand and probably let them sit for a day. But that's just me again. Most people like bright, clean, boom, boom, boom. That's up to you. You're the boss, you decide. I'm the boss too and I decided. Anyway. That's me changing the guitar in real time. I probably won't edit this at all. I'm just gonna have it up there so you can like go along with me or do whatever you want. But there's all the bumps and bruises and all that good stuff. Hey, hey, there it is. Nice and clean, beautiful, and ready to rock, ready to roll. My name is Shep Gold. I hope you're having a great day and uh, that, I just changed the strings of my guitar. And if you have any questions uh, or comments, you can leave them in the bottom. Even if you found this to be atrocious or offensively bad, it's fine. It still works for me, and I'll be playing later, and I'll be playing tomorrow at the Portland Airport. You guys have a great day. And uh, seriously, though, if you have any questions in the bottom, just leave them, and I'll be uh, happy to answer them or make a video of them. If, if, it's in my, if it's in my wheelhouse, not if in my wheelhouse. If not, I do have people to recommend to you. So have a great one. Shep Gold, I'm out of here.